Hey everybody, welcome back to the Here to See channel. Got another here journal for you, the Bible book of Job chapter 13. Test trials and responses in the book of Job. The Here to See channel always focusing on sharing pearls of wisdom, nuggets of knowledge, understanding the difficult, and instructions for a better life. The Bible book of Job, we're reading through the whole book, a chapter at a time, and doing a here journal on the chapter. Here journaling is a method many find edifying to their personal relationship to the Lord. I sure do. Give it a try. You'll be glad you did. Now, let's read and listen to the Bible book of Job, chapter 13, in the New Living Translation from the YouVersion Bible app, and then I'll share my here journal with you. Chapter 13 Job wants to argue his case with God. Look, I have seen all this with my own eyes, and heard it with my own ears, and now I understand. I know as much as you do. You are no better than I am. As for me, I would speak directly to the Almighty. I want to argue my case with God himself. As for you, you smear me with lies. As physicians, you are worthless quacks. If only you could be silent. That's the wisest thing you could do. Listen to my charge. Pay attention to my arguments. Are you defending God with lies? Do you make your dishonest arguments for his sake? Will you slant your testimony in his favor? Will you argue God's case for him? What will happen when he finds out what you are doing? Can you fool him as easily as you fool people? No, you will be in trouble with him if you secretly slant your testimony in his favor. Doesn't his majesty terrify you? Doesn't your fear of him overwhelm you? Your platitudes are as valuable as ashes. Your defense is as fragile as a clay pot. Be silent now and leave me alone. Let me speak and I will face the consequences. Yes, I will take my life in my hands and say what I really think. God might kill me, but I have no other hope. I am going to argue my case with him. But this is what will save me. I am not godless. If I were, I could not stand before him. Listen closely to what I am about to say. Hear me out. I have prepared my case. I will be proved innocent. Who can argue with me over this? And if you prove me wrong, I will remain silent and die. Job asks how he has sinned. O oh God, grant me these two things, and then I will be able to face you. Remove your heavy hand from me, and don't terrify me with your awesome presence. Now summon me, and I will answer. Or let me speak to you, and you reply. Tell me, what have I done wrong? Show me my rebellion and my sin. Why do you turn away from me? Why do you treat me as your enemy? Would you terrify a leaf blown by the wind? Would you chase dry straw? You write bitter accusations against me and bring up all the sins of my youth. You put my feet in stocks. You examine all my paths. You trace all my footprints. I waste away like rotting wood, like a moth-eaten coat. And that was Job chapter 13 in the New Living Translation from the Version Bible app. Now... For my here journal, first the highlight, Job chapter 13, verses 6 to 10. Job wants to argue his case with God. Verse 6, listen to my charge. Pay attention to my arguments. Are you defending God with lies? Do you make your dishonest arguments for His sake? Will you slant your testimony in His favor? Will you argue God's case for Him? What will happen when he finds out what you're doing? Can you fool him as easily as you fool people? No, you will be in trouble with him if you secretly slant your testimony in his favor. So, what's my explanation? Job rebuked his friends for representing God without his knowledge or approval. He charges them by not being equipped to speak for God and warns that when he finds out, that is, when God finds out, it may be bad news for them. So what's the application for us today? 
We can learn from these wise words. We must discern the advice and counsel we receive from others. They may be coming with good intentions, providing sound advice from their perspective, but God is the source of truth. Seek counsel from Him. Also, beware often there is deceptive advice and counsel from ungodly sources that is trying to lead you off the path that God would have you follow. Reference 1 John chapter 4, verse 1. Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 13 to 15. For such men are false apostles, deceitful workmen, disguising themselves as apostles of Christ. And no wonder, for even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. So there's no surprise if his servants also disguise themselves as servants of righteousness, and their end will correspond to their deeds. And Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12. For the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of the soul and of spirit, of joints and of marrow, and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. And lastly, let us beware that we are providing sound, sound, godly counsel to others and not worldly wisdom. So what's my response? Lord, thank you for my life in you. Help me, Lord, to be an effective servant to encourage and build up others for a greater relationship with you for all of us. Amen. Amen. And now how about you? Why don't you try highlight, explain, apply, respond. Do some hair journaling. Give it a try. Comment below. Share your experiences with us. If you don't know Jesus as your Savior, read the Gospel of John chapter 3 to learn about His forgiveness and talk to God about it. Talk to God about anything. He loves you. He really, really does. Seek Him now.